Hey, it's uh, Robotic Robotic So this is like the fourth or fifth or sixth version of this doubles trick room team that I've been struggling with over time. Since the coronavirus is uh, fucking everyone sideways, um, I, like, coincidentally left my job before the coronavirus became big. It was probably the best time to leave my job, or any job ever in the world. So I feel pretty thankful for that. Um, so I've just been chilling at home, grinding out Animal Crossing and Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, Alangor is the same. Uh, Parish Body is really good in doubles. I will uh, explain this team at length, just so if you aren't familiar with the team. Um, Parish Body is really good in doubles, because if they have only two Pokemon remaining, and they uh, get the random Parish Body effect, it will put a Parish Song on Cursor and a random Pokemon adjacent to it, or across, I'm not sure how it works. I think it works kind of like how Ghost Curse targets randomly, as far as I can tell. Ghost Curse is so good that it's kind of all right. It'll either finish off a wounded Pokemon, or it will chip down a fully health Pokemon. But anyway, we'll get to Mimikyu later. Al Gore, the funny named uh, <laughs> Cursola, with that ground rock ghost coverage, and the absurd 427 special attack, basically the Porygon Z of this game, um, I trained another hat turn. This time it's Tasha. Same build, with the HP and special attack, um, but I was lucky enough to get a, um, a, uh, G uh, G-Max version? I'll show you the little symbol. Yeah, see, it's, it's G-Max. It's got the Babiri Berry, so I can take a steel hit, uh, with my high HP, and hopefully live, get up Trick Room, Dynamax, and just sweep. The Dynamax effect of G-Max, uh, Tasha, is you confuse everything on the field that is on the opponent's side, which is pretty nice. Um, if you're talking about winning through random bullshit, just giving them a 33% chance of losing their turn the next, the following turn on top of doing 130 stab psychic damage, yeah, I'm not getting up. I won't be getting up the psychic terrain, but at least, I mean, if, if one other Pokemon, if a pivotal Pokemon loses a turn, the match is just over. That's just how the, uh, how oh, the game is going these days. Uh, we have Jigen, the very appropriately nicknamed um, Lupin the Third character. He's the gunslinger. Um, I just had an, a uh, breed jacked in my box, and I uh, gold bottle capped it up. I uh, gave it Dark Pulse, Ice Beam, Snipe Shot, and Protect. Uh, this thing with Focus Sash, it is such a good anti lead uh, in doubles because. You can bet your bottom dollar they're going to lead with Charizard or Tyranitar. Now, Jigen actually cannot defeat Tyranitar, because Tyranitar is too bulky. Um, we'll get back to that later when we get to Grounder. Um, but uh, Titar is just as much uh, of a scourge on doubles as Charizard is. It's just that Charizard has a really uh, easy-to-target typing. Uh, Fire-type is just running wild at this gen, because it seems like everything's weak to fire. Fire and ground. Um, anyway, I'm not going to go on a tangent there. This Pokemon, I put it specifically on the team to target Charizard because it's way faster than Charizard. I can just turn one Dynamax water move, summon the rain, do 130 damage, and if I force them to max protect, then it's win-win. Because if I force them to max protect, then they've lost a turn of max mode. Which, Dynamaxing is just so over-centralizing and broken, that if, if you can get them to, f if you can force them to Dynamax and waste their turn protecting, that means you're probably going to win. That, that's pretty much just what it is. And it's a really one-sided metagame, which I don't like. Uh, we have Whitney, the max defense HP mimic you, you've probably seen it in a past video, hopefully. Um, but it doesn't have any attacking moves, it's got Charm, Lewis, Trick Room, and Curse. Uh, the Mental Herb, so uh, Taunt won't work uh, for a single turn. It's got Disguise, the broken ability. Um, yeah, it's, it's it basically is a fail-proof Trick Room Setter. And it's undeniably good. I had to train one. I trained one really early. Um, and I kind of feel similarly about Exadrill. Exadrill is one of those really common Pokemon, because it's just really, really strong in every format. 
Um, I made one early on for my uh, singles drizzle team, which isn't even legal, like, anywhere, because it has the G-Max uh, stealth rock pudding uh, water attack guy, the turtle of death. Love that thing. I had a different one made. Um, but this one was made because it's Sand Force ability. I remember I caught this... I caught this Exodrill actually really early on in um, in the game. It was actually before I had a Sand Rush Exodrill. So I remember catching this thing in a raid, finding out it was a 5 IV Jolly Nature, and then realizing I couldn't change its nature with the Ability Capsule if it has the hidden ability, which is just really fucking annoying. Like, why is that... Why is that a thing? That has caused me a lot of heartache uh, in multiple games. Um, but yeah, so we Sand Forest, which means if Tranitar is out there, it's going to get extra fucked. Because what I can do is... Uh, <laughs> these goddamn Tranitars running around with ally... It, they do the turn one ally switch Dynamax max move, which is really hard to combat. Like, that's just really strong. They either do that, or they have a Togekiss with Follow Me. And they have some Pokemon backing up Titar, like redirecting moves and blocking shit. And if you give Dynamax Titar a free hit, it basically will make you lose. <laughs> so, so I added a Pokemon just for Titar, just like I added a Pokemon just for Charizard. And I saw I saw direct results immediately for both situations. I remember I ran into a Sun Team and Jigen just tore it apart. Um, that's happened a couple times. But I've lost a Tranitar too many times, and uh, you'll see my record in a minute. It is shameful, but all of those losses taught me what is being used in the format, in this rated doubles format, which is about to end in like a day or two, actually. So if I want to get a rank up, now is my uh, only real chance to do it, because they're, they're just going to like start over. But at least I'm higher rank than I would have ever been. I'm definitely focusing on doubles, uh, because it's like the official thing. Uh, super singles is really fun, but if I'm gonna do that, I might as well get the random singles, uh, free-for-alls, which I really enjoy those. Shocker needs no introduction, it's just specs. Vic. So, that's basically a whole video explaining my team. I do feel like this, this version of the team is gonna stick. I've changed it a lot, but, um... Just having an extra drill on, on the team is so helpful. If you'll, if you noticed, or if you'll notice, um, every single Pokemon on the team complements extra drill type wise. Um, we'll probably run into it. So let's try to get a battle. Hopefully, I don't get my ass beat. I'm almost to nine. I actually got to rank nine, and then lost so many times. I got pushed down to rank eight again. But as you can see, my little piss meter is almost filled up, so I've, I've done some winnings. And I've got 26 wins and 26 losses, which is like, really fucking awful. But if I can, st if I can get my rank to stay at 9 before the season resets, um, that should be nice. It's a big if, though. <laughs> I find this doubles format to be... Oh, fuck! I'm already at 9. Shit, never mind. Uh, okay, so we've done it. Let's see if we can get another win. Let's see if I can get to 10 with a couple wins. Because I, I, I was testing this team. I was testing this team. And uh, I got two wins immediately. Um, so I'm f I don't think I've ever won twice ever in rated doubles. So I feel like that is actually something really good. So this is another team where um, leading Exodrill and Inteleon, such good lead Pokemon, oh my god. Before, when I didn't have Exodrill, when I didn't have another fast uh, physically attacking option, I was literally forced to bring Mimikyu and like Cursal or Hatturn every time. You'll notice I omitted um, the Firebug guy. Um, it's because he wasn't pulling his weight I, I put I put him on there just because uh, it was just because of the goddamn um, I wanted to trap people with the G Max Fire Spin thing and curse, but ultimately it wasn't worth it. Like I think it maybe got me one win, but it wasn't that good. Let's bring Mimikyu. Mimikyu's good. 
we've got Cursola, Mimikyu, Inteleon, and Exodrill. And what what really has been effective? I found a Toke Jack, by the way, who's probably going to beat my ass. We'll see. What I've found to be so effective is I don't lead Trick Room straight away. I lead the fast Pokemon who wear down their team. Um... And then, uh, once they get worn down, once they get worn down, then you bring da bring out the Trick Room to reverse sweep them. Which, in singles, it, you can reverse sweep with Trick Room pretty easily. I'm going to protect here, because I'm either going to, these are either going to Will-O-Wisp me or whatever. But I'm going to Dynamax and go for Torkoal. Him bringing Torkoal like this, I feel like kind of puts him down a Pokemon. Like, Torkoal is going to take the hit, and that's that's a, another reason I didn't really explain, because I didn't want to take more than seven minutes to explain the team, which I, I probably did. Um, but I was I was really talking up Inteleon last time, and I'm thinking, okay, surely when I'm Dynamax I can take out Tyranitar. Turns out you can't, because that motherfucker is too bulky. You just can't. Uh, so he used Protect. The thing about that is, you cannot block Max Geyser because it's fucking broken. Uh, so I'm gonna get up the rain anyway and ship him. I'll do a little damage. But now, whoever switches in fucking dies. Because, like, what? Was he just gonna, like, try to protect again? Or is he gonna switch? He's obviously gonna switch, right? He's going Trick Room. So, <laughs> my man has Trick Room for me. That means. Um, that means I'm going. I'm going to switch hard into Cursola and Max Geyser the Torkoal. Maybe he'll go Sunny Day or something. But I'm going to. I'm going. Yeah. So he's going to withdraw Dusclops or whatever, which is pretty. Oh no, he's got the Gastrodon. Shit. Okay. Torkoal essentially isn't a threat, but I am going to. Kind of lose a turn. Because Storm Drain. So, what I will do is I will Shadow Ball Gastrodon. I'm actually going to double target. I'll max Darkness. It's because that was a good move, switching into Gastrodon. Usually don't switch too much in doubles, but if you have a Gastrodon, I mean, you can do it pretty safely. So he's going to switch out. Oh, I'm going to mark Max Darkness to Dusclops. He might die from that. I don't know. Oh, wait, no, I double targeted. Um, didn't I double target um, Gastrodon? I already forgot. That's really terrible. Um, I'm pretty sure I did. So he's attacking me as I thought he would. Yeah. Doesn't take out. <laughs> nice. So we lowered the special defense of Dusclops. Ooh, shit. This is actually great that I've uh, gotten under normal mode. Because now I can show off. Um, I can get a double kill right now. Because Snipe Shot goes through the fucking uh, Storm Drain. I can actually kill Gastrodon right now. And he, you can protect all you want, buddy. You can, but... Okay, so he will actually give me... I wasn't able to snipe shot, which is really shitty. But we lowered its special defense, so I'm pretty sure... Um... Wow. <laughs> How many, um, hold on. This is our last turn of Trick Room, but I have a Trick Room user in Mimikyu. So it should be alright. Um, just kind of Shadow Ball whoever. I'm gonna Willow Wisp of Sclops. I'm actually technically losing. Um, 
yeah, he chooses to attack and break my thingy, which is pretty smart. But I will be able, be able to pick off Gastrodon. I'm pretty sure um, my ghost is slower. No, it isn't. See, that's a problem. But Mimikyu takes it because of the max HP, so that's really good. However, this means I won't be able to get up my trick room. Yeah, so Dusclops dies now. So you get, we do get a double kill, which could make up some momentum. I, I should have protected with uh, Intellion, I guess. I should have seen the Nightshade coming, but I wasn't thinking about it. We might lose just because of that. In this format, you make one mistake, you're oh, it's 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 done. Like that's pretty much its format. So interestingly, I think I might be faster um, I'm faster than like everybody. Uh, charming would be best here. Yeah, charming would be best. I have extra drill in the back, by the way. So not having Trick Room actually won't be the end of me. We I mean, won't protect. That's fine. But he's already shown me that he's fat. He's uh, his his team out slows me. He actually has a more effective Trick Room team than I do. But my team is only like partial Trick Room, so so that's okay. So I can go Earth Power. <sighs> Okay, so now we pretty much 100% win because I've got Air Balloon. Even if he uh, pops his weakness policy, I've got Air Balloon. Exodrill makes me win, period. That's why I put him on the team. But let me, let me just show you real quick. Immune to fighting. Immune to fighting. <laughs> Immu uh, resisting water, so this thing fights off. That shit. Kills the goddamn... Um, yeah, we just double attack him, and he's fucked. Uh, uh, I'm gonna lose now. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I need to believe in my Pokemon. I do have Air Balloon, though. That's real. So I'll be able to iron head him for shit damage. Maybe I'll flinch him. Okay. Uh I think I might actually lose. It's really fucking lame. Um, I fucking hate this Dynamax shit. And the information doesn't tell you how many turns they've been Dynamaxed. It's like... God. Ugh. I guess I'll go Earth Power. I'm not sure if it is a better option or not. Like, I'm just gonna fucking get stomped. Yeah, I'm gonna lose. If I got that charm off, I would win. Maybe I can. Oh, no, I'm already damaged. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, fuck this shit. <laughs> this format is fucking annoying. It's like, oh, I haven't Dynamaxed yet. Let me Dynamax this Pokemon and just fucking win. See, Mimic, you let me down there. I should have brought uh, Vicavolt or. Because Vicavolt would take it down with an energy ball, but well, there's an example of the team. Unfortunately, we lose. We choke out last second because, like I said, you make one mistake and it's over. That's this format. It's really unforgiving and it's not fun. <laughs> it's just not fun to play. Um, but I have, I have really developed my team though. So 
We didn't get the flinch. If I got the flinch with Iron Head, I would have won, but I didn't get it. Um, yeah, Pokemon is just horseshit, man. And then Mimikyu wasn't able to do a goddamn thing. Uh, anyway, yeah, comment, like, subscribe. See you later, YouTube. Probably gonna do singles from now on. Fuck this shit. But tell you what, tell me what you think about the doubles team. I'll try to win. I can't.